How did the most embarrassing hair accessory in history suddenly become cool? This is a scrunchie. It's literally just a round piece of elastic wrapped in excess fabric. And from the mid 80s to the mid 90s, they were inescapable on everyone from cheerleaders to the moms cheering for them. The story of the scrunchie technically starts in 1984, when Jane Reed invented what she called the bunch bangle, but a different woman is widely credited for its invention. Rami Revson was house-sitting in the Hamptons when she realized she wanted a hair tie that used fabric instead of metal or plastic so that it wouldn't damage her hair. Inspired by the elastic waistband on her pajamas, she bought a sewing machine and made what she called a scoonchie after her poodle. She patented it in 1986, but there was one obvious problem. Scoonchie is a really weird word to say. It was the consumers, largely made of teen girls, who adapted the name to scrunchie. Right off the bat, they dominated teen culture. Debbie Gibson music videos, Madonna concerts, pretty much every sitcom, and most notably in the opening credits to Heathers. Scrunchies also found their way onto the hair of a young Sarah Jessica Parker, who ironically, 15 years later, would cement their legacy as something to be deeply ashamed of. Here's that 2003 episode of Sex and the City. You have your leading lady running all over town wearing a scrunchie. A scrunchie! No woman who works at W Magazine and lives on Perry Street would be caught dead at a hip downtown restaurant wearing a scrunchie! While her relationship with Berger may not have survived, the stereotype of the scrunchie did, at least for the most part. From the late 90s to the 2010s, the only people that you associated scrunchies with were figure skaters and gymnasts, sports that, again, tend to be associated with teenage girls. In 2011, the artist David Riley held an actual lecture on scrunchies at New York City's New Museum. In it, he discussed what he called the scrunchie dilemma. Here is the scrunchie dilemma. That something so practical so useful and in many ways so adult has come to be associated with immaturity and lack of sophistication. There is an unfortunate disconnect between what it is and what it represents, an identity crisis. Basically, his theory was that despite being aesthetically pleasing and at one point massively popular, the scrunchie stands in opposition to what the former trendy teen girls of the late 80s and 90s are today now that they're grown up fashionable and sophisticated. There's also the theory that scrunchies might remind them of an awkward period of their lives. But as Riley argues, that's exactly what made scrunchies so ripe for a comeback. Because they're inherently opposed to mainstream taste, suddenly they're an object of counterculture. And like clockwork in the six years since his lecture, scrunchies have actually become pretty cool among women who weren't necessarily around when they first were a thing. So really, there's nothing inherently embarrassing about scrunchies. And if that's the reason you aren't wearing one right now, it's time to see the light.